In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some fitness professionals with their big table index design. Will we have the time to get an extra workout in? Stay tuned to find out. From a performance perspective, one of the most important things to consider while designing your big table schema is your index design, which is something that our friends at Urban Fitness Forge, makers of fitness tracker products, ran into headlong recently. Uh, UFF's usage pattern for their data dominantly queried lat long values to find specific sensors within an area for analysis, or rather, given how often they ran this query, it was way too slow for their needs. Their initial schema design used a row key comprised of lat long values. And as it turned out, this simple setup was exactly the problem. The reason for this is two things working together. Uh, firstly, Bigtable doesn't have explicit support for secondary indexes. So if you want to find a group of people with the same first and last name, then you can get a very fast first name search, but you have to do a secondary search in a less than performant fashion. Secondly, entries in a tablet are sorted lexicographically by their index, meaning that entries with similar keys will be closer to each other in the tablet space. Now, since the dominant part of UFF's key was the latitude value, other cities which shared the same latitude value were listed closely in the table, meaning that their secondary scan for a longitude value was walking through loads more data and of course was less performant as a result. This highlights an important aspect of big table schema design. The wrong key design could spell disaster for your performance. For Urban Fitness Forge, that meant creating an index such that entries that are close to each other in physical space were sorted close to each other in table space to reduce scan size. Uh, so instead of using a lat long value which produced a raster style order index like this one, they were able to use a space filling curve which organized indexes in physical space like this. The result is a modified index for entries which use a space filling curve integrated with a timestamp value to create a single integer based index. For Urban Fitness Forge, this meant queries which looked for lat long data had reduced table scans, resulting in a huge perf improvement. Now, uh, obviously using a space filling curve is not the right solution for every problem, but it does offer a good reminder. To get the best performance out of Cloud Bigtable, it's essential to think carefully about how you compose your row key. If you're interested to know more about this problem, check out the article linked in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Cloud Performance Atlas content. Because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts. Mm -hmm.